Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming MSI Stealth 15M laptop Intel Core i7-11th gen with great graphics RTX 3060 So let's disassemble it, let's see which parts can be upgraded, replaced or fixed let's So let's start with all the bottom screws Okay, all the screws are out, so now let's leave to the bottom case. Find the gap in between the case bottom and the palm rest and work your way around the edge. Use only plastic sponger, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Okay, our bottom is out. Now we have access to all the internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Right, now let's take out these screws. There's one more screw here on the corner. Now the battery is out. Here we have the part number for it. Now we can unscrew all the screws from the motherboard and unplug all the cables. Um, before we do that, we can take out the SSD drive, that's our storage, that's the NVMe drive, so we can replace it in case if it doesn't work or upgrade it. So now we are disconnecting all the cables from the motherboard. I would advise to close the latch after you disconnect each connector, otherwise you may break it. Alright, so here we have the Wi-Fi card, so let's disconnect the antenna wires. And now we can take out one screw. And this is how you can replace your Wi-Fi card. Here somewhere should be part number and the model. Mm. So we we'll unscrew all the screws that we can see. This should be our video cable. Let's unplug it. Let's 
is connect the speaker. And now we can pull out the motherboard. On this side, we can see memory slots. Spread those arms and then you can take out the memory. It's a DDR4. This one had 64 gigabyte total. Now we can take out the heatsink for the processor and the graphics card. Let's disconnect the fan first. Now let's leave the heat sink. Be gentle, don't bend any of the pipes or it will not work. It may be stuck because of the cooling paste in between the heat sink and the actual chip. So be gentle. All right. Our heat sink fan assembly is out. Here we have the part number. That's our memory. Unfortunately, the processor and the graphics card are soldered on the motherboard, so we cannot upgrade or replace that. You will need to replace the whole motherboard. Here we have the part number for it. So now we can take out also our speakers. speakers now let's take out the hinge screws so we can disconnect the screen So as we can see, we are able to replace pretty much everything besides the processor and the graphics card. So very nice design. Okay, now our screen should be disconnected. Right. So that's our palm rest keyboard touchpad assembly. Here we have the part number. It's usually sold in one piece. The keyboard is riveted. We cannot take it out. And that's our screen assembly. Here we have the part number on the video cable. And this is full HD. 144 hertz refresh rate screen, usually sold in one piece. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.